get all my gear going through everything in my head. Rain gear, I mean everything that I might need. Extra clothes, backpack, I got all my electronic gear I believe. Stuff to charge along the way. Got all my tent stuff in here, extra camping junk. I'm just bringing the essentials. We're doing a two night camping deal. I'm trying to finish up this area we've been hitting for a while. I think I've got everything except my camping lights and batteries. Then my normal stupid stop at Walmart. But uh, other than that, I think I'm about ready to go. At least I hope so. All right, just stopped for gas. I needed like uh, half a tank and it ended up being about $40. <laughs> Jeez, man. I'll tell you, one thing that I'm noticing is all the mines that are close by are I've basically done 98% of them already. So I'm having to venture out further and further. But luckily, this weekend is only about a two and a half hour drive, so not too bad. But uh, got a bean burrito for the road here. So uh, yeah, let's hit the road. I had to laugh. I, I was cruising along. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember this spot. I had to pull over just to take a peek at this. Almost thought it was uh, something going on there, but there's just a grizzly. Looks like just a little gravel pit right there. They've been uh, cutting off the side of the mountain there, but I thought it was maybe something there for a second. So I was like, ooh, ooh, that stopped. <laughs> Well, I just pulled up to the uh, area that we've been <laughs> we've been working this area for a while, and we're still not done with it. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I thought I was going to be solo this time around, so I was all mentally prepared uh, to just be by myself. <laughs> but. Uh, I just got word uh, kind of last minute that uh, Justin from Abandoned Underground, he's going to be here. And um, also my buddy uh, Joe from on the next episode. They're both going to be here uh, later on this evening. So I'm trying to decide on what I want to do. There's a couple of spots way past this hill to hike up to to check out. And then, uh, of course, I've got all of my camping stuff to set up and all that jazz um and it's about five o'clock it's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful over here this evening nice cool breeze nice cloud action <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a nice weekend i'm glad it's cooling off finally well i finally made it to the uh, camping location and um, we've got a couple of uh, locations on top of this mountain over here behind me. Way up there behind me. Um, so I've got quite a few hours left in the day here and no one's gonna be here until this evening. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head on up there and recon that area. If there's something to get into, I'm definitely gonna film it. <laughs> It's so nice up here. I love I love nature. I haven't been out in it's been what two, three months now, and it just seems like forever. I love being out here just listening to the birds and the breeze and seeing the beautiful sky and the clouds and just everything, man. Alright, so uh I'll keep you updated on what's going on, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna recon an area and see if there's anything to film up there while I wait for everybody else to get here and then set up camp. Hiking along and just uh, some random foundation here. I'm 
another small trail heading off that direction. <laughs> no clue. Pretty random. All right, so uh, this is the uh, trail I'm taking right now. You can see uh, where I came from behind me here. A little bit fuzzy, sorry, it's on cinematic. <laughs> but um, I think I'm about halfway there. I've been hiking for about an hour and a half now. And this is steeper than I thought, that's for sure. I knew it was gonna be steep, but man, it's uh, yeah. Stretching the old legs, that's for sure. So we're way up here, we're about, Probably about 7,000 above sea level up here. It is beautiful. You can see another road. They cut another road way up there. And it's going to the same spot we're going to. But I don't think anybody's been up here in a while. I'm thinking they're like right underneath here behind this tree somewhere. So I just came around that bend. I came on this field of daisies. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I thought that was pretty neat, man. For us to see any color in New Mexico, we're like, oh, look. Hi, right, so this is a situation I think we got stuff all up in here, but this stuff is thick. And I have seen a bear up in here, so I'm gonna have to be very careful. I'm gonna have to kind of watch my step. All right, guys. So if you look behind me here, here's the trail I kind of came in on. You can kind of see a dump pile there, sort of. And right in front of me, Essentially from about right here to there is a collapsed portal. There's a hole right there and it drops all the way back down to ground level where they first punched in. I uh, grabbed a flashlight, snuck down in there just a little bit. It's, uh, it's pretty steep and it looks like it's collapsed about 20 feet in. So this one's a no-go and I'm, I was kind of curious how far these were actually going to go in because we're almost to the top of the mountain here. Unless they go like north and south, something like that. But um, there's another trail leading this direction and another one this way. So let's check those out. Um, maybe we'll find something to get into this evening. the uh, portal looks like <laughs> I can't really tell what's in there we have to like dig this out to really uh, check that out but there is actually track going out to here and there's a trestle out there and the dump pile is pretty significant I think there's something over here too but uh, let me show you this real quick all right so we just came from behind those bushes you can see the track coming out right there telltale sign of course we got a little structure over here lots of dump piles and we have an old trestle here and more dump pile out here let's see what this is all about over here something up there on top. Huh. Keep looking around. 
Well, as you can see, I am uh, battling the timing of the sun now. <laughs> but this is just uh, another area. It was just right over here. And here's another area. Stand on a bunch of rubble. And a big hole. So I don't know. We got that there, that there. It almost seems like that attic that we saw over there that we're thinking about digging into comes in and it hits this vein going north and south, which would make sense. So I don't know if we're looking at just collapsed completely or they came in and surfaced this or I don't know. But I'm gonna crawl down there. This is probably to be the last thing I do today because I got another, I gotta hike all the way back down. We're way up here. <laughs> yeah, there's the top of the mountain right there. So um, let's get down there and poke our head at least in there to see if we can see anything and uh, go from there. All right, so we're looking at this section that was kind of higher up in the hole here. Standing on top. There's not much down there. Doesn't go off any direction or anything. And, uh, that little section right here, it just stopped. And you know, another stope or something there going to the surface. So again, I, I almost want to say this was underground and then all this just came down because you can almost see all this stuff would have been above right here and it looks pretty fractured. That's my guesstimate. Um, not too sure on the uh, information on this one. All right, so made it back down to uh, the, uh, whoo, I'm sweating like crazy. Um, that was a good three, four hour hike to find uh, find what we did, but at least now we know. Um, but uh, I'm here back at the, I swore I heard something back there. Um, I'm here back at the base camp and uh, I need to utilize what little daylight I have left and get my tent set up, maybe get a fire going, and uh, yeah, get ready for a night here. And I uh, saw a bunch of bear scat up there, so I'm gonna have to stay, stay alert, keep my eyes peeled. All right, finally got camp set up. Last of the daylight. Barely showing there. Got my tent all set up there. Fire going. Already had a burrito. So I'm just sitting here listening to the uh, crickets. Lemonade out of lemons, at least, you know. But I like the shade, though. That sun's gonna be hot. Let's do that base again. Yeah, let's do the rock test. Almost sounds like it's hitting wood. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Oh. There's another four pass going down that dead end that trip we were just at. So, people are near to there. Yeah. Atlas number three, dynamite. So we're just uh, back in the dusty bear. Um, 
Justin hasn't done this section yet, so we're following him, and we're trying to find some newer sections um, that led to an adit that we were thinking goes outside, but no luck on that. Um, I haven't found anything new to film just yet, but um, there's a lot more to do after this one. Check out these boots. Not sure exactly how old they are. They look kind of old. Maybe like an old pair of uh, mud boots or something, huh? <laughs> Up here on the uh, back, I get the light right. This is actually a, a piece of wood that's stuck in the back here. Some kind of shim, but uh, it's like this white mold that's growing on it and then yellow drops of liquid. over there on a dump pile that that uh, portal has collapsed but there's supposedly something down here further that we're going to try to get to before the sun gets down Ooh, is that thunder that sounds like thunder we have a storm riding us here in a minute <laughs> <laughs> 